what is base property of, of a system? The base properties of a system are a set of principles used to describe the behavior and guarantees provided by distributed databases and systems, particularly those that relax some of the traditional asset uh, properties. I said it's short for automaticity, consistent, uh, automaticity, consistency, isolation, and durability to achieve higher availability and scalability. The base stands for basically available, soft state, and eventual consistency. These properties are often con, uh, contrasted with asset properties, with, which are typically associated with traditional relational database. Let's talk about the base properties first. Let's delete everything here and start by number one, which is basically available. So the system guarantees availability according to the CAP theorem, which means that the system will respond to any request, even if the response is not immediately consistent or the system is in a um, degraded state. The other thing is that in practice, this means that the system can tolerate some failures and continue to operate uh, with potential uh, reduced performance or with um, with some temporary inconsistency in um, the data. Number two, we have the soft state. So the system of the the state of the system may change over time, even without input, because of the eventual uh, propagation of the updates. This is in contrast in contrast to a traditional database system, where the state is assumed to be consistent at any given point of the time of uh, at, at any given point in uh, time after a transaction. So in distributed systems, that uh, is often replicated across multiple nodes and updates to one node may take time to propagate to others. During this time, different nodes may have different versions of the data, reflecting the soft nature of the state. And lastly, we have eventual consistency. So the system will become consistent over time, given uh, that a new updates are made to the data. This means that eventual, eventually all replicas of the data will coverage to the same value. Eventual consistency provides a weaker guarantee than immediate consistency, as it allows for temporary inconsistencies. However, it ensures that if the system is given enough time, uh, time without new updates, all, all nodes will have the same debt. Let's talk about a comparison between the asset and the base properties. So the asset first is short for, let me put it that way, it's short for automaticity, consistency, isolation, and durability. Automaticity means the transactions are all in or nothing, like or or nothing. Consistency means transactions bring the data base from one valid state to another. Isolation means transactions do, uh, do not interf uh, interfere with each other. Uh, durability, like once a trans uh, transaction is committed, it will not be lost. Let's talk about the piece. The piece, first we have basically available, like the system aims to be available under most circumstances. Second, we have store soft state. Um, the state of the system can change over time. Third, we have eventual consistency. The system will eventually reach a consistent state. So let's talk about the use case for the base properties. Uh, base properties are typically applied in NoSQL databases and distributed systems where high availability, fault tolerance, and scalability are uh, prioritized over immediate consistency. Let's give an example for that. 
Um, let's make a list. The first thing, it will be NoSQL databases. So such as Cassandra, the NemoDB, CouchDB, and MongoDB, which are designed to handle a large volumes of data and high throughput. Uh, second, we have um, content delivery networks, CDNs. So where data needs to be highly available and distributed across multiple geographic locations. And number three, we have social media platforms. Um, where user guaranteed content must be quickly available to um, to users worldwide and, and temporarily inconsistent are um, acceptable. And number four, eco e commerce systems. So for maintaining product uh, catalogs and other user session where immediate consistency is less critical than available and partition tolerance. So in conclusion, the PACE properties provide a framework for understanding the trade-offs involved in designing and operating distributed systems that prioritize availability and scalability over immediate consistency by embracing the principle of PACE. And uh, systems can achieve higher level of performance and fault tolerance, making them suitable for use cases where eventual consistency is acceptable trade-off for improved availability and scalability. So this is for this video and see you in the future.